So what sort of test will John Henry Mosquera provide for Cameron Vong? So highly touted, so highly rated. Mosquera looking to clip him in the early stages. And the danger, as Barry Jones always says, is for Vong not to rush his early work. Alongside me and Darren here, Jack Catchell joining us for commentary here. And Jack, what is it inspiring with Cameron that, that makes you so complimentary? three months and they can do it all in the ring is he is, really is the full package from what I've seen so far. I was really impressed with the debut. Very quick hands, good variation, natural flair and you're seeing it again. Commits to his attacks. Very confident. Oscara's last five fights have all been here in the UK and he's lost four of them and swings with the right hand trying to catch Vong unawares in the early stages of the contest we're not yet at the halfway stage of the opening round that's another good bit of matchmaking I think Mascaro from what I've seen in the past he's not a bad fighter he's rangy he switches he tries and unsettle his opponents <sighs> Well, Mosquera is coming off a win in Manchester three weeks ago. As I say, a busy year so far. After three years out, he's fought six times this year. I think they were the perfect instructions from Jamie in the corner. He needs to make it simple now. His opponent's only looking to swing off Cameron's lead. Like you say, Jack, well, look at the jab, the damage it does. So accurate with the shot, so sharp. Yeah, just keep things simple, let it flow, don't force it. That's good, variation, changing the levels with the shots, a jab upstairs, the right to the body. Now it's all starting to fit into place for Cameron Vaughan, good work. Switching, popping out that right hand, showing us that natural flair. Doing the right thing as well, trying to draw out the lead, Mascara, but he's not taking the bait, he's no intention to lead in at all. He's awkward, he's tricky, he's rangy, he leans back, switches from time to time. Yeah, Mascara reminds me of them, them spars where you've been sparring at a high level and you, you fight somebody of a lower level and they're causing a lot of different, a lot of different angles, a lot of different problems. There's a moment there, just leaning back, he missed with the right hand, that's where you throw the jab to the body first. Mosquera, born in Colombia but lives in Spain, has never been stopped in his professional career. Five wins and four defeats. Now, Vaughn getting to work with that left hand. Yeah, this is better from Cameron now, just simplifying it on that jab, jabbing up and down. Not getting drawn into any of the mind games with Muscola. Yeah, I like that. Again, just targeting the body with the straight shots first. See, he has a lot of success. First time we're really seeing Muscola trying to creep forward, trying to get on the front foot. Doing the right thing, that's good ring positioning from Vong. He just moved round, he skipped to the centre of the ring. He's allowing space behind him, and if Mascara does mount an attack, he can just take his feet out of range and look for the counter. Mascara going looking for that right hand over the top once again. It's definitely the jab that's doing the damage for Vong. Just keep popping that out. Again, the variation you can see there, just leaning back, Mascara. See a few more angles from Vong as well. When he mounts an attack, to skip to either left or right. That was better. He took his left foot across as he threw that left to the body. That's good work. This is good shot picking, Mike. Along with the left hook, he faked the jab. 
you look to parry that shot, Mascara, and that opened up the, the right side. Allowing Bong to find that left hook. Good work changing the levels again. This is good stuff. Good start to the fourth round. Yeah, Cumberland's finding his rhythm now. The more he's simplified it, the more success he's having. Where do you think that's come from, Jack? Is that more work behind the left hand, as you say, just making it simple? Yeah, he's obviously clearly listening to these structures in the corner, using the jab, judging his distance better, and, and not playing into Mascara's mind games. He's got to move up, change the direction, sorry, of his movement, Vong, just moving a lot to his left, walking onto the right hand with Mascara, so it's a mix up. His movement left and right, but I think he's having a lot more success as well, Cameron. Aside from keeping it simple, the fact that Mascara's let his hands go a bit more now. Good right hook from Bong, followed by a jab. Good work, and that in turn followed work to the body. Good variety from Bong. That's better from Bong, just about to say, I'd like to see him take a nice little step to his right. Even throw that right hand as a step, bring that right foot across. There you go, there's the shot. You know what, Cameron's going to learn so much from this fight. I know that he'll be back in the gym next week and he'll watch this fight back and we'll, we'll go through it. And it's the type of fight that he'll be in next week and he'll be watching it back and improving on things. And again, for his second fight, so, such a good learning fight. Halfway stage of the last round. Ah, nice movement as well there. Creating angles, did not to throw the shot there, but he threw the right hand, he just skipped to his left hand side. Good work. A lot of pressure on the shoulders of Vong going into this fight. Everyone's singing his praises, and rightly so. It's a brilliant debut, so he's dealt with it really, really well. As you know, Jack got a great team behind him, and he's dealt with this occasion really, really well against a very awkward opponent. He's boxed nicely, he adapted well as the, the fight progressed. Yeah, well, Muscara, I'm Muscara has been very awkward tonight, but again, like you said, sold a lot of tickets. This is his second fight in his hometown, so. We don't realise how young he is. Uh, big credit to Cameron tonight. But also applying the pressure to himself with his own comments, and that is the kind of character that fills arenas. As long as eventually he lives up to his own Billy. Last few seconds, then round six. What a way to finish for Cameron Vong, second professional contest, taken the full six rounds. Ladies and gentlemen, after six rounds here in Newcastle, we go to Judge Ron Kearney's scorecard. It reads 60 to 54 for your winner. He's still undefeated. Cameron, the one Vong.